Hello everyone! In today's video, I'll show you how to do this mesh multi stitch cropped top. And I hope you will enjoy this video. If you do, please don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video. And let's get into it. So, I'll be using those eight colors in total. I have here a uh, acrylic yarn, so those four. Uh, colors are acrylic and they're all double knit apart from this one this one is a run and then I have three cotton ones and one uh, merino wool so you want to choose a couple of different um, types of yarn so I have three acrylic cotton and merino and then this one and this one is a run and these all are double knit I'll try my best to link them in the description but basically what you want for this project is to have at least a couple of shades a couple of different types of yarn and it can be different weight as well but if you want to do that in one color that's completely fine as well so yeah this is what I will be using and I would recommend having at least a couple of shades in your chosen color then you will need a pair of scissors 4.5 millimeter hook and one needle to hide your tails in and to start off you want to grab one of the colors make a slip knot put your hook in and you want to chain any multiples of three plus two on top of it and this is going to be the length of your shoulders so you want to be that a bit oversized so slightly over your shoulders and I'm gonna chain 72 plus 2. So I've just made my chain, which is 74 chains in total, so 72 plus 2, and you can do any multiples of 3 plus 2 on top of it. Once you've got that done, you want to begin your first row which is going to be single crochets so skip the first one and into the second one do a single crochet and continue making those single crochets into every single chain and mine is going to be 73 single crochets all together so it's just one less than your initial foundation chain count and you want to do that until you reach the end so I'm gonna do mine and I will meet you at the end and I am now nearly at the end I pulled one last single crochet and I'm not gonna pull through my last two loops and this is where the new color comes in so you want to grab your next color and put that on your hook and pull through those two loops so this is how you change your color tighten it up chain one just to secure that and we can now cut our previous color off leaving a bit of a tail so we chained one already and i'm gonna chain another three this is gonna act as our double crochet and then another two. I will turn my work and now I'm gonna be making double crochet in the fourth stitch. So I'm skipping this one because this is where our chain is. I'm skipping next two and into the fourth one I will do double crochet. Then I'm gonna chain two, skip two, and do double crochet in a third and this is what you will need to repeat moving forward for this row so chain two skip two and do double crochet in next again chain two skip two and do double crochet in next and so on so you want to repeat this until you reach the end and I will meet you then and I'm now nearly at the end 
So I have three stitches left. I'm gonna chain two and do a double crochet in the very last stitch. And if you haven't got those three stitches left, that means that you either skipped uh, somewhere more or less or you haven't got the right uh, chain amount. So you might have chained more or less than multiples of three plus two or it would be somewhere incorrect throughout the row. But yeah, it should end with the last single crochet here and it would be double on top. Don't pull your yarn through last two loops because again, we will be changing color. So I'm gonna grab my new color. I'll pull it through those last two loops. And yeah, for the next stitch, which is gonna be a treble crochet now, I'm gonna chain four plus two. So it's six in total. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So four stitches are our treble and two is for the this part. So basically four plus two, I'm gonna cut the last color and I will turn my work now. So each of our trebles will be above double crochets. So I'm skipping those chains and doing treble into the double crochet. To do treble, you want to yarn over twice, go into your double crochet, pull up a loop and yarn over, go through two loops, then again through two loops and one more time, chain two, then you want to skip those chains and go with treble again above your double crochet. Yeah, and you will need to repeat this, chain two, do treble above those double crochets till the end of this row. So I'm gonna do that and I will meet you at the end. And I'm now nearly at the end. So I'm gonna chain two as always. And since this is our chain from last round, I need to find two chains that I'm gonna be skipping and then I will do the stitch into third chain. So yarn over twice, go into that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, through two and two. And I don't want to go through last two, sorry, because we will be changing color. As you can see for each row, I'm changing color, but it's up to you if you want to do that. So yeah, I'm gonna now grab my next. I will pull that through. And this time I'm gonna chain one only. Turn my work. And for this round, I will be doing half double crochets. So starting with the very first stitch here, I'm gonna yarn over, go into that stitch, pull up a loop and pull through all three. That's one half double crochet. Then again, yarn over and go into that chain two space to do one. And each chain two space will have two stitches then your next one will be above your treble. Two half doubles in the chain two space. And just like that, you will repeat this till the end of your row. So make sure that you make only two stitches into that chain two space so that your row doesn't increase. And I will meet you at the end. And when you come to an end, I just have half double made in this treble here. Uh, make sure that you do two, double, uh, two half double crochets in this space as well, because this is your treble and this is your chain two. So you need to make two half double crochets in here as well. And then to finish that off, you want to do half double into a chain as well just like that and then we're again gonna change color 
So I'm gonna grab this one next. I will pull through my loops. And I'm now gonna chain five, which is gonna be double treble plus two. So it's seven chains all together. I'm gonna cut my old color yarn here. and turn my work. Again, we will be skipping two stitches, so this doesn't count because there's a chain here. So the next two and into the third one here. So yarn over three times, go into the stitch, which should be just above your long stitches here. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and again and again and it's all together four times pulling through then chain two yarn over three times again skip two into the third one do your double treble again chain two skip two yarn over three times go into the third stitch and do your double treble and you will repeat this till the end of your row. I'm now at the end, I'm gonna chain two, yarn over three times and skip two. So into the very last one, I'll do my double treble. I'm not gonna pull through through last two loops cause I will be changing color. But yeah, this is how it looks so far. That's five rows in total. And I've showed you all the rows, so it's single crochet here, half double, double, treble, and double treble. And your pattern will uh, consist of those rows. So it's now up to you how to mix them and match with different colors and whatever row to make after. And you want to continue with those rows until you're happy with your panel which should be from your shoulders down and it's up to you how cropped you want or how long you want that to be but i'm gonna finish my panel and i will come back to show how it looks and once you're done with your one panel so these are the first five rows i did and then i made some more as you can see i would recommend finishing it with a single crochet as your last row and I would say start with a long tail and finish with long one for at least one panel so that we can join using those along the shoulders but yeah if you're interested what rows I did I will leave them in the description that's just uh, if you want to do exact the same piece but yeah once you're done with one you will need to make another one which I would recommend doing exactly the same and of course you can mix match yarns that's no problem just do same amount of rows so that they both match and i've done mine already so the next thing you want to do is put them both right sides in so i just put them right sides in and using those tails I have here, I will join my shoulders. That's gonna be 18 single crochets for both of the shoulders. If you want to measure yours, just put it uh, next to your shoulders and see how many of them you need to join, leaving enough for your neck and head. Yeah, and I forgot to mention, but I've hidden the tails already. So as you could see, there was a lot of tails here and each of them would need to be hidden. And what I did, I just weave them in mostly across those single crochets or half double crochets and then I've just snipped them off. But yeah, to join the shoulders, if you don't have the tail left, just grab the yarn in color of one of those panels grab your needle and just sew it together so i'm gonna go into my first stitch here and 
same for the next panel and I'm just gonna sew it together And once you're joined the length of your shoulder, you just want to secure this end and hide the tail in. So I'm just going to weave in around the single crochet row. And I'm gonna cut my tail off. And this is how it will look from the right side. It can be squished a bit, but this is how it will look joined together. So you want to repeat the same thing for your next shoulder and then all you have to do to finish those front and back panels is to join the sides. You can again put this over your head and see how many allowance you need for your arm. And when joining the side, remember that the length of your sleeve will remain the same width. So whatever you have for your sleeve here is gonna be the width of your ending. So it will remain the same width. So if you want your sleeve to be a bit wider, you would need to leave a bigger gap here and join less rounds here. But if you want that to be kind of tighter, then you would be leaving less rows and you would join more for the side. And to join the side, I'm going to be using this yarn, which I believe is most neutral one, but you can use any of those blues or any other color you have. I'm going to start with the very bottom here by inserting my needle. And I'm still having my work right side in. So this is a wrong side as well as this one. And I'm just going to go with my needle, making sure that I'm aligning those rows one with each other. So double crochet with double crochet, treble with treble, and so on. But yeah. So I've just completed joining my side. I did it for 11 rows in total, which might be different for you, especially if you used different uh, rows. So the same length would be same for you, but yep, yeah, that's gonna be the length I'm gonna be leaving for my sleeve. And yeah, I just need to hide this tail in now so I can cut that off. And since there isn't much of a body to hide the tails in, you just kind of want to do your best. And I like to go into those single crochet or half double crochet rows. So this is what I'm going to do. I will go into a couple of stitches and then I'll come back as well. Yeah, and then you will need to do the same for your initial tail here. Okay. 
and once you've got your side and shoulder joint you want to grab your piece from right side up and then grab your hook insert it anywhere where those two panels meet this is my basically sleeve bottom where the armpit would be and i'm gonna join that with my one of the colors so i'm just gonna do slip stitch to secure and i'll start working with single crochets so you want to make a row of single crochets all around so where i have this double treble it's probably gonna be around five single crochets then into the side of single crochet i'll do one and one for half double crochet there should fit two single crochets where the double is I'll put one here as well so yeah just kind of go with the single crochet and see how many you can fit you don't want to make too many of them inside because your sleeve would become very wide so yeah try go and make those single crochets And I just came all around to the beginning of my first row. This is how it looks. And I'm going to do my last single crochet into this part here. And I won't be pulling through last two loops now. So grab your next color if you're changing them. And I will put the new color through. And slip stitch it with your first single crochet here and the next row will be a row of double crochets so to start off I'm gonna chain three which will act as our double crochet chain two then skip two stitches and do double in a third one again chain two do double in a third one after you skip those two ones and it's the same as we did for main panel is just working in rounds so i'm going to complete this row of double crochets and i will meet you at the end and when you come around uh, i have here i had four stitches left so I skipped two I made my double crochet into the third one and I have one stitch left you might have two left here or three just chain two again skip all that's left there and you want to slip stitch into the third chain so leaving chain two here in between so just slip stitch it together chain one to secure and cut your yarn off then you want to grab your new color again and this time you want to join into the same stitch where you slip stitched it so yeah put your color in this round i'm gonna do treble crochet so i'm gonna chain four plus two so it's six in total and i'm gonna yarn over twice go above my double crochet to do treble chain two yarn over twice do treble above double and repeat this all around till i come to the end and then i'll meet you at the end of this row and when you come all around and you did your treble into the last double here you want to chain two and join into the fourth chain so leave two here and that's my fourth chain so i'm just gonna do a slip stitch 
chain one to secure and we can cut our yarn off then as always grab new color and insert it into that same slip stitch here i'm gonna chain one to secure and for this row i will do half double crochet so into that same space yarn over and put your hook in yarn over pull through three and as before each of these chain two spaces will have two stitches inside so just do two and then your next will be above the ripple so yeah just continue doing those half double crochets around and i will again meet you at the end of this row and yeah when you come close to an end just do your stitches in that last chain two space as always there's gonna be two half double crochets and when there is no chain, so doing single crochet and half double, we are able to change color on our last stitch because there's no chains in between. So this is what I'm gonna do on my last half double. And I will slip stitch it with my first half double crochet here. And I will begin my next row, which is going to be double trebles. So I'm going to chain 5 plus 2. I'm going to skip the next two stitches and do double treble into the third. So again, yarn over three times. And then you need to pull your yarn through two loops four times. Chain 2, skip 2 yarn over three times do your double treble into the third one and so on and you will be repeating this all around and then i will meet you at the end then as always at the end you're gonna chain two find your fifth chain and slip stitch it together just gonna put my hook there it is and i will slip stitch it together chain one cut your yarn and pull it through and i've showed you all five rows now and how it all looks so far so you just want to continue with the rows until you're happy with how long your sleeve is and i will show you how mine looks as well and what rows I made will be in the description. And once you've completed your sleeve, this is how it will look. Once again, I will include all the rows I did for mine if you want to follow exact same sleeve. But once this is done, you will need to do the second one exactly the same, hide the tails in, and that's it. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video and I'll see you in the next one.